Okay, to tell you a little bit about Maya, she is now 11 years old. She is a sixth grader. She's in middle school. Maya is beautiful. I think one of the biggest things Maya is, is strong. So to describe Maya's personality, you know, I would say she's a very caring person. The thing I love most about Maya is she's very kind. Maya is an incredible person. She's strong. She's courageous. The determination that Maya and her family have is, is, is awesome. Maya is very blessed to have that family behind her. Maya is a, just an incredible little girl. I really don't understand how someone that young could process all that, you know, go through the event herself, be there when everything was happening, make it through her recovery like she has and still be so sweet. I think from day one, everyone at the hospital was amazing. I mean, from the people who met us at the parking lot to the team of doctors that came to inform us what had happened to Maya and her injuries. Part of the injury to Maya's left hand involved skin and muscle and bone. As a reconstructive surgeon, there are many answers for soft tissue defects, but to date, no one has come up with a substitute for blood. So the importance of having donors that are willing to contribute to the community is, is essential. We had a report from one of her trauma nurses, and she was just you know, naming all the surgeries she had. And, and mind you, it was multiple per day, uh, the first five days because there was so much to do for her wounds. Without the blood donations and without the blood that was available for her, um, we wouldn't have Maya here today. The initial blood transfusion and Uvalde saved Maya's life. Uh, had that not been the case, then she wouldn't, she wouldn't be with us. My name is Adriana Garcia, and I took the role in Maya's life by donating blood and saving her life. I would tell people to donate blood because no matter what, you're always gonna save a life, whether you know the person or not, your blood's not gonna to go to waste. It's good to help people no matter what. My name is Sylvia Enriquez, and the role I had in Maya's story was the blood donation that I gave uh, to the blood bank saved her life. I've donated blood many of times. I've never um, had the honor to know who my blood went to. Found out that it was Maya. I was just speechless. This person is living because of the blood donation. Like, I felt grateful for what they did for me, and I think they did the right thing donating blood because it went to me. Our daughter was a 10-year-old little girl that, you know, that was not supposed to happen to her, and they saved her life. And I think that her strength and her resiliency is, has just been amazing, and it's been impressive, very impressive to me. She sees a challenge and she takes it on. Therapy, sometimes it can be hard, sometimes it can be fun. To think about all that Maya's gone through, uh, it really warms my heart that she's become an advocate for blood donation along with her family. I know if I get better, I'll start getting back how I used to be, so my mom doesn't have to be so worried and let me go on the roller coaster finally. And yeah, basically I know when I'm finished recovering, I can do all the stuff I have want to do. Being together is definitely something um, that we wouldn't have it any other way. Some of the things that I like to do now is doing my makeup, FaceTime with my friends, hanging out with my friends, art. We want Maya to live a full and happy life you know, student council at school, any sports she may want to do, we want her to be able to participate in, go to college and experience all the wonderful things life has to give a full, happy life, get married, have children, just experience it all. Specifically to Maya's blood donors, I would say thank you. She survived because you gave, you know, your time and your, and your blood 
It is so important for organizations like South Texas Blood and Tissue to exist. We provide a crucial need for the community, um, recruiting donors, making sure that blood is available. The people here at South Texas Blood and Tissue are very focused on our mission and making sure that we're there for any patient like Maya or anyone who needs blood. With everything that we've been through, we now realize how important this organization is and the wonderful work that they do. It was a big part of saving Maya's life. Thank you, blood donors in South Texas Blood and Tissue. Please consider donating blood. It saves lives.